Welcome to the channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome. And if you've returned, I really appreciate it. But if you are new and you like this video, or you've watched a few of my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, it would mean a great deal if you hit that subscribe button. Now in this video, I want to present to you a new release from Caddison. I was excited to get this watch in because I've got a Parnis date just homage and I did a video on that and it's been very popular and I know there's a lot of you out there that are really big fans of Parnis. I like Parnis as well. I've got to be careful how I say that. Now, I really like this new Caddison because it offers many of the attributes of the Parnis, a few things which are significantly better and I got it for less than 60 pounds. So without further ado, let's get in the review. So before I do the comparison, I'm gonna show you the quick unboxing and undressing of this watch because out of the two watches in this video, this is my newest one. The other one I've had quite some time now, so I didn't record an unboxing of that. But this one is very well packaged in its genuine lizard skin box. As you know, it's cardboard, but um, I like it. It's compact, it's neat and tidy, it's all well presented. Just keep remembering this is a 50 to 60 pound watch. I'm very impressed, very nicely packaged. Then, you get it out, and my initial impression was beautiful. The polishing and the sunburst dial is all really good. And then I was thinking, well, I can't really enjoy looking at this watch until I've peeled all these stickers off. So that was the next best thing, which is some are better than others, but they are really awkward, these, I warn you. If you're ever gonna get one of these watches, just budget about five to 10 minutes of your life for peeling stickers. And if that's your bag, you're gonna love it. But for me, I'm just, it just drives me mad. It's too fiddly sometimes. But at least you know your watch is gonna come all the way from China and not be covered in micro scratches because it's been jostling around in its little container. Ah, so I took a breather and I had another look at it and I thought, well, I'll take some more stickers off, here we go. Bit more peeling, bit more plucking of stickers. I recommend you grow uh, one of your fingernails a bit longer, it will help you. you. See why I sped this up to three times the speed? It, it took so long. Final check. Nearly there. Our final stickers. Yep, quickly got the knife out. Be careful when using any blade or instrument like that. And then there we go, it's done. So before we get started guys, I'm gonna show you where you can find these watches. So first of all, we start with, I'm gonna do a little screenshot and how easy it is to find this Parnas President. I've bought a number of watches from my watch code and I've bought from AliExpress as well. So they've got their own website. They're on eBay and they're also on AliExpress. And I've actually bought them from all three mediums and the service has been equally good on all three. So. As you can see, 98 pounds and seven pence. That's less than I actually paid for um, this one in this video. I actually got ripped off by Parnis.org. That's the one I bought. So nice to know you can get it at this better price. I wish I'd known months ago, but I didn't. But here we go. This is where to find it. And now I'm gonna show you the screenshot of how to find the Caddison. I'll include the links where possible in the description as well, just to help you out. Now I bought my watch from Caddison official store. Here's my exact watch. And I got it within 10 days, no extra fees or anything. And I actually paid 55 pounds delivered. It's fantastic price. I thought, let's see how good this watch is for that ridiculous price. And there's three different colors to choose from. I went for blue because I haven't got any other blue somber style watches in the collection at the moment. I thought, let's take a look. To help you out. And what I wanna do with this is, you've seen the unboxing of this, and if you wanna see a more detailed review of the Parnis, uh, do subscribe and check out my other video I've done for this. It's um, been quite popular, so you get a good idea of all the stats and specs, but I will recap a lot of that again when I do the comparison, because these two watches are very similar in design, now they've been inspired in design by the Rolex Datejust. And I'll pop a picture up uh, of that here. So you can see 
when I get these out, where that similarity lies. So let's get these boxes open. I've got my watch gecko cloth because I'm always getting smudgy fingerprints and I don't want to get into this trend of wearing white gloves. Fair enough if you want to wear white gloves, but I don't want to look like a, uh, I'm about to polish some balls for a snooker game. So, um, well, that's just me. Now, as you can see, the key aesthetics to make this look very similar to the Rolex Datejust is they have fluted bezels. See the edge has got that detail. And the reason why that is very nice is it catches the light beautifully. Then this did have a Cyclops. I'm going to show you a little bit later on how I took that off. And the reason why I took it off is because it had very poor magnification. I think if you're going to put a Cyclops on a watch, it should do two things. One, it should line up. Two, it should actually magnify. If it doesn't, you take it off. And I'll show you how. It's literally involving a blowtorch. But just to give you a quick idea, one of these is more sufficient. I got this for $3.95 on Amazon. Yes, you can scorch your watch and not ruin it because you see it's still fine. <laughs> so don't worry. I'll show you that. I actually used a blowtorch on this watch and got it off. Um, so moving on from before I get too excited talking about using blowtorches. As you can see, they're very similar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the stats and specs to show you how similar they are on paper, but then I'm going to give you a little bit of closer look at the little aesthetic and tactile details, which make one of these even better value for money. Hint, it's this one, the Caddison. But I want to show you why. So let's start with the partners. I'll put Caddison aside. This is a 36 mil case size. Let's quickly show that to prove it. That is relatively compact. Now, Parnis do do a largest case size of this. So bear that in mind, but it's going to be a little bit chunkier. This size is a little bit more classic in keeping with the original Rolex from the 80s, especially. And the weight is good. I've had this size for my normal seven inch wrist and it's light. It's only 113 grams. This one is 116. Very similar, even though this case size is a touch larger at 38.2. So the extra two mil hasn't really made any difference to the weight really, but it fits a bit better on the wrist. So back to the Parnis, this does have a Cyclops. It's probably about two times magnification. There's no I've seen two and a half times magnification and it makes it bigger than that. So I'd say it's more 2.5. The movement is a Ming movement. I'm not quite sure the exact number. I'm sure someone will help me, but it's been okay. It's I've been checking the time on it and the timekeeping's okay. It does plus eight a day, which is actually perfectly acceptable. And I would not complain about that. And the other cool thing about this watch, screw down crown. Hand winding and hacking. See, has the date. And it says it has 50 meters water resistance. 50 M. No information on the back, but the front is sapphire. And it does have loom around the indices, little pips on there, and a little bit on the hands. I will show you a loom shot bit later on. Lug width 20 mil. And I think the thickness is quite slim. It's only 11.7. So bear all that in mind. It's, um, oh yeah, and the bracelet tapers down quite a bit, only down to nearly 16, which is quite slim line. Butterfly clasp, a bit of pelage on the butterfly clasp. So it looks neat. And there is the Parnis name on there. So you get a pretty broad idea of what kind of features you get, what kind of details you get on a watch, which costs me over a hundred pounds, but it's on average, it's about a hundred pounds. So that's the spec. That's the stats, Chinese movement, all stainless steel. And it's fairly decent. I'd say it's well finished, neat and tidy 
I'm very happy with this watch. But I was very keen to bring in, as a comparison, Caddison, because this watch cost me £55, and as you can see from the link I showed you earlier, this currently is approximately £57, so it's only fluctuated a little bit. So that's a significant difference in price. Features, as you saw, it's a little bit bigger, but it still has everything else, give or take. Now, it's got more robust loom on all the indices. The Cyclops I got rid of, it has... A side crown as well, doesn't screw down, but it still says it has 50 meters water resistance, hand winding and hacking. The finishing is exceptional. There's no fluff or dust anywhere, no blemishes. It's very neat and tidy. Polishing is good. The brushing is very good. There's no rough edges anywhere to be concerned about. Maybe a tiny bit there, but you'll never notice that unless you're looking for it. It still has solid end links. It still has a Geneva striped decorated Chinese movement, which for me has been even more accurate than the one that's in the Parnis. It's very pretty as well. I do like the color. It's very nice. As you can see, the finishing all around on the underside is very good as well. You used to get the pelage on the butterfly clasp as well. And then the actual, when this is closed on the clasp, it's even neater. As you can see, look at the joins, the brushing and the polishing. There's minimal play. The Jubilees have play in them anyway. That's what makes them so comfortable and, and flexible to wear. From new, this had, let's get some focus, that gap, a lot more play. But I like that this has been signed. That is nice, but it's definitely a lot more baggy compared to the Caddison. In thickness, it's going to be very similar. Yeah, again, give or take a, a thousandth of a bazillion millimeters, it's about the same. Then there's only one major flaw with this, which is some people will be like, no, that's, that's terrible. I can't deal with that. But bear in mind, this is 55 pounds, 57 pounds at the moment. 50 ATM waterproof. If they just got rid of the AT, it would be fine. But atmosphere is, is equivalent to bar. It's equivalent to 50 ATM. That's about 500 meters water resistance. Obviously, it's not capable of that. It's a... 55 pound Chinese watch. It's not 500 meter dive watch. And on the back, it says five ATM water resistant, which is 50 meters. So that's the correct figure. I still don't even know if it can do 50 meters. I haven't got the ability to test that, but it should be okay. So that's one major flaw, typo. But there's been worse and I can live with it. But look at that sunburst dial, really nice. And you saw in the clip earlier when I showed you where you can get this, there's two other colorways. I know there's not quite the choice you can get with compared to the Parnis where there are many, many different colored ways and different choices. But I think they're fairly well covered with the li fairly limited choices with the Caddison. I know it has the blue, it has the black and gold and the, the all silver. So this works. I went for the blue because Blue is my favorite color, and I just think it looks really classy, and it goes with a lot of the things I wear. Now, another thing I really like with the Caddison is the brushing is very good. It's very neat, very smooth. And I like this, this design on the solid end links. See it? It's flush there. The only other niggle is, look at this bit sticking out here. But this does it as well. But it, you don't notice it because of on the uh, solid end links, it has these parts which actually stick out. But I think that's a little bit ugly to me. It's not hideous. I wouldn't have nightmares about it, but if I'm going to be really analysing these little details, I like this better. It's just a little bit more cohesive design. And the... They follow them fairly well. It's a little bit of a, a raised bit there. 
but we're talking half a mil probably. But it's very good. It all lines up extremely well. And then another good thing to do is when you feel the edges all along here, or any of the edges where there's been obviously a lot of machine work done, it's all been honed enough, so it's not unpleasant. It's very good. Extremely impressive. Polishing is very neat and smooth. I did all that. Naughty me. I don't know what I was doing. I just, They don't come scratched. That's that's not an optional extra. Uh, that was just me being an idiot. But um, I am really impressed with this watch. Flaws included. But bear in mind, this is under 60 pounds. I got it in 10 days all the way from China to the UK. And it was still packaged up very nicely. It feels nice. It's got this lovely feel and weight on the wrist. It's exceptional. I was going to pop an image up right now to show you the comparison between the loom for these two watches. So Parnis on the left, Callison on the right. And you can see which one's the winner. So the loom, Callison wins. Specification, they're both the same. The movements are give or take the same. They're both Chinese. I think this is, this. I'm pretty sure this is a seagull movement. They've both proven to be accurate, exceptionally accurate if you consider the price. The issues are very minor with both of these watches for their price. The Cyclops was the only thing. You'll see in the original earlier clip it was doesn't actually magnify. I'm going to show you now how I took that off. So as you can see, it's a little simple mod. If there's something, a watch is really close to something you like, and there's one thing that bugs you, there are often ways you can rectify that. Let's say it's a strap, you hate it, take the strap off and put a better one on, put a different one on, and they still don't cost much money. If you don't like Cyclops, you can remove them. If you really, really don't like a watch, why did you buy it in the first place? <laughs> so let's keep it simple, guys. If you want a date just homage, and you want to get a watch which is £100 or less, you could buy two of these almost for the price of this one. That is exceptional value for money. So I hope this has been an exciting update for the Caddison, which I have highlighted its pros and cons, and the same with the Parnis, pros and cons. Caddison's the winner. So I hope that's been of interest to you guys, and I've been clear and thorough enough. If there's anything you want me to do in more detail about either of these watches, do let me know. I tr I've got some helpful advice from a viewer saying, make sure you do more close-ups. And I, I was thinking, you know what? That is, I can't believe I haven't done more close-ups. Maybe because I was used to my old camera and that didn't have very good focus and things like that when you got too close. So this camera I've got now is a lot better, so as you can see, yeah, it's not bad. You get a better idea of the fit and finish of these watches. You won't be disappointed with either, but if you if you want to impress yourself, spend sixty pounds on this Caddison. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Bye for now.